Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel. For those that are new, you are most welcome. For those of you that are existing subscribers, you are also most welcome. So today we're going to do uh, another drive and it's to a nice part of the uh, town called Ogden Waters. So I do hope you will enjoy uh, firstly the drive and visiting there so the uh, actual um, trip has been suggested by someone sorry a, a lady called Carol I think the surname was Broadhurst so Carol you have requested that uh, you want to see the sites along the way you uh, uh, sort of used to live in one of the areas which is Abbey Park and you want us to stop there as well okay so let's make a start so just to show you where we are as always we're at the railway station and we will be going out and uh, towards uh, uh, winding road first and then making our way to uh, Ovenden and beyond so we're out of the railway station now viewers Hopefully these are all familiar sites. We are on Winding Road and we go to the end and we will turn left towards uh, Orange Street Roundabout. It's quite, it can be quite a lengthy journey depending on traffic but uh, I'm hoping that we can do it in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So just to remind you of some of the things that are here. That was the car park. This is Gold Lane. So the bus station. Very much a uh, construction site we are on the move once again this is Broad Street Plaza and the bus station from another angle I don't know whether you can see but a lot of construction going on uh, apparently it's going to take a year a year and a half we're on the move once again We are turning right here and you have to follow the Keithley signs which of course is the A629 on this side and it takes us all the way to Haworth again a lovely part of Yorkshire and a video for the future so we're heading towards Orange Street roundabout So we're on the uh, Orange Street roundabout viewers so you will recall that is uh, the road to where we live which is King Cross and of course if you stay on the carriageway it will take you to Burnley. We're on the move once again viewers and we're on this side of the carriageway which of course is Ovenden and we take in the sights along the way to the right of us Dean Clough of course and there's a number of villages along the way when we approach these traffic lights uh, the area to the left is uh, Wheatley but we are going uh, straight ahead so the area over there as I say is Wheatley and where B&Q is that also used to be part of uh, Crossley carpets quite a bit away we're on the move once again uh, viewers 
on the carriageway. So from here, Keithley is about 12 miles, as you might have seen. So in a previous video for Club Lane, we turned left up here. Uh, today we're going to go straight on the area you see here just before Ovenden is uh, Lee Mount and you can see the <coughs> sign there as well this beautiful church to the left of us Ovenden Way that's where we came previously. The area to the right that we're going through is uh, part of home field. <coughs> so you tell me, Carol, that the family moved from here to Kent in um, the 1980s as I recall and you were 10 years old at that time so you lived on the Abbey Park estate and uh, you remember the fire station and you remember going for walks on Ogden Water so hopefully we will rel relive those memories for you. So you will recall to the right, home field, that we are going straight to Hon. So if we were turn to turn left here, that would uh, again take us towards uh, Club Lane but when we did the previous video it was uh, an earlier left that we did on the move once again uh, viewers we are now in Ovenden so once again a very historical village with a lot of history The left was, I don't know where the cottage is, uh, was <laughs> Moorside uh, Community uh, Primary School. Unfortunately, there was a fire there a while ago, but it has now been uh, rebuilt. So, having said that it's hist um, historical, it is a um, sort of mixture of old and new, really. So it was one of the first uh, suburbs to be uh, expanded, shall we say. Okay, so the area that we're going to get into after uh, um, Morrison's, which is uh, by those traffic lights, is Illingworth. And once again, as you can see, it's, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, countryside so we just passed uh, Morrison's and further along the A29 A629 if we were to do a left here that would take us to the village of Mixenden but we are going to go further into Illingworth so once again some really historic buildings and just to the left of us, I don't know whether, yes there it is, is a very old jail from the 16th century. I think the fire station is a little bit further so we'll try and stop uh, there, uh, Carol, and show you.
I've just started the car now, viewers. That's the journey we've made from Halifax. So, Carol, this is the fire station that you wanted me to film. So, you don't really say why you wanted to see the fire station. But that is the fire station. And further on is the estate that you used to live at. It's quite a complex estate, so I'm only going to be videoing it from the road. don't really want to go inside because uh, it is uh, private and uh, I don't want to be filming people. Okay, we're on the move once again, viewers. As you can see, this is a newer development and this uh, is the start of Abbey Estate. So what we're going to do is go a little bit further. I think close to that white car will stop and I will uh, shoot, uh, oh sorry, I will try and film. So that's the journey we've made so far, viewers. And the whole of the houses here uh, is uh, the Abbey Park Estate. Okay, so we are going to be going further on for about uh, a mile and a half or so. On the move uh, once again, viewers. So as you can see, the Abbey Park Estate, some of it was uh, demolished and some newer houses were built. Some wonderful countryside uh, out this way as uh, always and I'll try and stop and show you the valleys. So to this side, uh, the Ryburn and uh, Sorby valleys and straight ahead of us. is uh, the area close to Haworth. I think there's a village before that called Oxenhope. I think the views are alright, we don't need to stop. As you can see, wonderful views, and what you got there is uh, Ovenden Moor. So we have to be uh, a little careful because there's a sharp uh, entrance into Ogden Water. So we've made it in good time, uh, viewers. The area that you see to the right is Thornton, and we're going to carry on and it's, uh, there will be a left turn so it is sign posted and there is the sign yeah. so as you can see it is Ogden Lane we're going to go straight uh, straight ahead and try and find the car park I think we've passed the car park so we're going to turn around. Okay, back on uh, Ogden Lane. Let's hope we can find the car park this time. Uh, narrow lane. I think the car park is to the right at the end. Yeah, there's a sign parking. 
So I'm going to stop this video here, viewers. Uh, I do hope uh, you've enjoyed the journey so far. I think it's further to the left. I think we finally managed to find the correct entrance. So I do hope you've enjoyed the journey that we've uh, made so far. Uh, I say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it is to be continued. So look after yourselves, look after others. Until the next time, goodbye. Apna khayal rakhna, dusron ka khayal rakhna, duaon mein yaad rakhna. Allah Hafiz.